can dream and just realize that nothing is what I did something incredible to life. I realized a lot of dreams. The interview you wanted here. Why these you... Matt Lauer with Madonna in American Life. <laughs> Madonna Mads in New York City. Die Hard fans lining up for days. Hope you get a chance to see rare performance. Madonna, a pop icon who seems to super attach everything she does. Superstar Supiva is not playing a super size arena, but a small gig at a tour record store. Free for those lucky enough to get in. What goes through your mind? I mean, you're a few minutes away from greeting, what, a few hundred fans yeah. in a record store. What are you thinking? Uh, well, it's a little bit absurd. I mean, I've never done a gig in a record store before. Your whole career is the first time you've ever done anything like this? Yeah. So... Going backwards. All right. You want to walk downstairs? Sure. When I do Hollywood, I have to let my son. Do we have room? No. Does the nerves go away when you sing your first song? Mm -hmm. So it's just the moment getting to stage. Yeah, it's only the first song. Have you ever blocked on the stage? Mainly. How bad? Just, you know, just totally forgot the whole of song. What I do is I just sort of throw myself around the stage and dance. Giant and things like that. Watch this, not a lift. <laughs> Nervous, approachable, even Muir. Who's that girl? There was a time when I was happy in my life. Okay, you've heard before, and if you're cynical, have your doubt. But this does seem to be a new Madonna. Forget the day of raw, blonde ambition. She's now a brunette mother of two, who, age 44, is more reflective than reactive. You know, I didn't really care what was going on in the rest of the world. I just didn't. I just wanted to, like, focus on me, 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 my career, you know, my life, just me. Blinders. Here's something you said. I was a buffoon until the age of 40. Yes. Yes. I was. That sounds like a lot of wasted time. No, who said it was wasted? I just did a lot. Buffoon? Who wants, who strives to be a buffoon? I don't think anyone strives to be anything negative. I just think it's a nature to um, only focus on a few things and, and forget about a lot of other stuff. Yes, she's had her mid incarnations before. Chain her image like most people change their clothes. The latest one is perhaps the closest we've gotten behind the curtain and in her state of mind. Not myself when you're around. Madonna and Midlife is what she sings about in her new album, American Life. She's co-written every song and there's of the most personal of her two-decade musical career. I'm in love with you. There are intimate lyrics about the love she says she's not with husband Guy Ritchie. Oh, nothing is what it's as well as title song, which she not only raps, but takes an honest and harsh look at her life in the material world and the Donna image-making machine. Let me read you some lyrics from the song, American okay. Life. I tried to be a boy, tried to be a girl, I tried to be a mess, I tried to be the best. I said I did it wrong, that's why I wrote this song. This type of modern life, is it for me? This type of modern life, is it for free? Mm -hmm. what, is, what do you mean by that? That's, yeah, trying on different sizes, different personalities, being a rebel, being androgynous, you know, doing all these kind of things, trying to be number one on the top. Um, but I guess did it wrong, meaning I, I'm 100% sure that getting people approval is not a goal to have in life. Strike. So after 20 years of fame and the fortune that comes with being a superstar, it be that Madonna's had enough being Madonna. I have all these things, experienced all these experiences, and I can tell you from my vantage point, which is what most people perceive as the top, that none of the things are really real. You well, know? Let me play devil's advocate for a second, because... <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> Please stop me. Um, <laughs> because it sounds a little bit like, Donna, you're someone who's benefited from celebrity as much as anyone has, and enjoyed it. Benefited, enjoy but I've also seen the other side okay, of it Okay, but as you well. enjoyed Ride, and now it seems 40-something years old, you're looking back and saying celebrity bull. Um... To a certain extent, I am, because I see how obsessed with celebrity everybody is. And I'm saying, you know, if you're only halfway up the top, you can hard say, I know it's not going to bring me happiness. I know it's baloney. Big deal. Talk about your 180. After all, this is the same woman whose love of fame, even the famous stunt. Remember that moment with Warren Beatty in Truth or Dare? Do you want to talk it all off camera? But nothing. 
Watch it live up. Or would you say something if it's off camera? Tomorrow, you're going what, to... What point is there? Extinct. Let me give you something else you said. If the allure of the beautiful life look like this and you're going to be happy. Drive this car and you're going to be popular. Wear these clothes and people are going to sleep with you, I'll paraphrase. It's a very powerful illusion and people are caught up in it, including myself, or at least I was. Absolutely. Sure. I mean, but you are too. We all are. It's our nature and it's okay. The thing is, if nobody tells you that it's an illusion or nobody brings your attention to it, then how are you going to know? She's got to but is this older, wiser Madonna just another way to get our attention? After all, she's at a critical point in her career, coming off decline record sales. Forgive me for being a rush to get sibling. And a moot career on life support. <laughs> the one thing he's always been is a master at creating buzz. Everything she does becomes an event. A fashion photos for W Magazine turns to an art exhibit. Downloading her new CD off the internet and you don't the songs, the classic Madonna moment. What the f*** do you think you're doing? Make no mistake, Madonna is always in control of the image she wants you to see. I've interviewed you probably a half a dozen a times. Time. Yeah, a and lot of times. I remember none of them. I know, that's a good, not a very memorable guy. <laughs> I always had the impression that you were very happy with who you were at whatever given time I was talking to you. Yeah, to a certain extent I was, but how do you know that there weren't things going on in my personal life, their relationships with my family? How do you know, you know, there wasn't chaos going on somewhere in my life? We'll get to that later, but first, there's Madonna, there's controversy, and American life is no exception. Yes, she's pushed buttons before. Taking on the church. What? For you to justify my love. And taking off her clothes. But this time she's done something really shocking. She's gone out of her way Christian not to end people. I'm just living out the American dream and I just realized nothing is what it's In a characteristic move, Donna pulled the anti-war video that was supposed to launch her new American Life album and create a new sanitized version. The original showed her rest in combat gear at a fashion show. I filmed in January, and by the time the video is finished, we were at war. And many of the things that I sort of was trying to depict or warn people out about were already happening in the world. But, you know, with everything that's going on right now, and, you know, the soldiers being killed and wounded, and, and the destruction that's taking place, and I just don't think it's appropriate. Here's where I have to stop you. If you want to take a pro peace anti war video, mm -hmm. bet time to show it and people look at it the time of war. I agree with you in theory, but unfortunately, um, I feel like um, America's in a really volatile place right now, and there's a lot of really confused people, and I'm not interested in being a target for a lynch mob mentality. So, th so this personal safety, this isn't an unwillingness to push some buttons? It's a, no, it's a combination. I'm, I'm very willing to push buttons. I don't have a problem with that, but I think I think that what people would misconstrue is that I was slagging off President Bush, and I'm not. I think that they would misconstrue that I was um, making light of what's happening to the soldiers in Iraq, which I'm not. I just don't think that people right now think so serious and people are so volatile that they're not going to see irony. They're not going to see subtlety. They're not going to see But you've the never message. worried about that before. Well, you've, this is the first time that I've sat and talked to you in we've 12 never, years. We haven't, since you've talked to me, have we, have we been in this situation? But this you've situation? taken on religion before. You've never worried about people misinterpreting well, your message because it's your message and I'm curious why you're worried because, about it now because ultimately I don't just be provocative for the sake of being provocative All of you out there. but is this famously savvy marketer really thinking in a vacuum she's no doubt aware of what happened to the diggy chicks who had to do made damage control after lead singer Natalie Maines said she was embarrassed to be the same state as President Bush. They made a statement about the President of the United States, leader of the free world, at about the same time your video was coming out, right? right? Mm -hmm. Cynic might say, there's got to be some money involved here. That oh, maybe no. you're worried about... Oh, no, look, no, they, no, I they, lost they, a lot of money. Okay, wait, they video. took the Dick Chicks CD and they smashed them in the streets. No. And radio stations well, stopped playing them. you got a new important album coming out. What if people don't buy it? That's not the reason. I give you the honest God promise that that is not the reason. Because I have bigger plans and I have more important things to do.
Up next, find Mr. Ritchie, the man who drew love, marriage, and a meet act. Let me read you a couple of comments. From who? These are from I various... Don't, I don't want to hear it. Ride the Haas, Spy the Loves, When Madonna, American Life, and Tears. <laughs>